There are a lot of injustices in this world, and, um, and New Kensington has been working actively um, to fight those injustices for a really long time now. It's our job to take on projects that nobody else wants to do. I mean, that's what CDCs are supposed to do, that's what we're charged with, and so, you know, that's what we do, and we have to make it work no matter what. I mean, you have to be persistent um, because it, it's hard. We were having a community meeting and a gentleman stood up and he said whenever he gave people directions to get to his house in New Kensington, he gave them a very convoluted way of going because he did not want them to drive down Frankfurt Avenue because he was embarrassed by how Frankfurt Avenue looked. Frankfurt Avenue looked like it was a Second World War bombing casualty. It was so bad. They, uh, they thought that if the vacant lots were grassed, the street would look so much more inviting. Sometimes I have to pinch myself when I go down Frankfurt Avenue. I hardly recognize the street from what it used to be. It um, really gave people uh, real solid hope at a time when uh, the neighborhood looked like it was going nowhere. I think Orinoco is going to turn out to be one of those huge markers of success for us. Um, it is a bold move in a neighborhood that's seen a lot of divestment um, to say we are here, we're going to invest a lot of money, we're going to put our offices in this particular location to be able to support the community and live what the community lives on a daily basis. fight for, um, for more than 30 years and fighting for the success of this neighborhood. She succeeded and it's not an easy road to try to get to where we have come today and we've come so far. I will support whomever takes Sandy's place. They're going to be big shoes to fill. What, like, how do you even put into words what Sandy does on a daily basis and what she's done for the past 20, 21 years in the community or her entire life in the community? I don't know. Um, she's an amazing person. And I, I only hope that I can do all the things that she has done in her life. And uh, one day we ran into each other at the, at the Thriftway shopping and I saw her down the aisle and I thought, uh oh, now what? And we're like pushing our carts and she's like, going on and on about funding this Coral Street Arts House and has another idea and has another idea. And I finally turned to her and I said, Sandy, I can't make a funding commitment in the grocery store. And so we left and that's always been our big story. Sandy, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the positive things you've done in the community. What you achieved in my lifetime is certainly unbelievable. I'm uh, proud to have worked for you and I've been proud to have served on your board. Um, and I really um, would like to thank you for taking a chance on me. Because of people like you, i um, inspired to keep going, so thanks. Encouraged me to participate more in my community. Now, nearly 20 years later, Sandy, I'm still saying I'm sorry for being a knucklehead about the tractor and trailer, but you're the best. I know um, our paths will continue to cross. I can't imagine you're not going to be involved and be a, a big part of the industry. You've contributed so much already, and I know you will continue to contribute. Uh, Sandy, thank you so much for all the work you've done. It's been a real pleasure to um, work around you and to learn about the community from you. Uh, you are one of the most capable and impressive people I've ever met, and I am really excited for you to try to retire. Thank you, Sandy, for your mentorship and leadership, and I might just cry a little bit. <laughs> this is why this is here. This box of tissue is for you. Sandy, thank you for a great ride. It was fun, and I enjoyed working with you.